Ceph puts the power of the storage industry at your fingertips, all for a fraction of the cost. But what does that include? How does Ceph work? Meet the future of storage. At its lowest level, Ceph is an object store. Rados is the reliable, autonomic, distributed object store. Rados is where the magic happens. It's what keeps your data safely distributed and replicated across many servers or racks and moves things around when the cluster changes. The OSDs, or object storage daemons, are where your data live. Each one is a software process that runs on top of a physical hard disk or SSD. In addition to servicing read and write requests from clients, OSDs are also smart. They talk to other OSDs in the cluster to replicate, migrate, scrub, and otherwise keep data objects safe. Historically, this process has been run on top of a file system like XFS. But with the introduction of Ceph's Blue Store backend, Ceph now talks directly to your physical block devices. There can be from 10 to 10,000 or more OSDs in a cluster. Monitors are the air traffic controllers of the cluster, providing just enough coordination to ensure that OSDs are working together and functioning correctly, but otherwise allowing them to independently service I.O. requests or manage data migration and replication in a scalable way. The OSDs piggyback off the consensus state provided by the monitors, preventing split brain and maintaining consistency across the cluster. The Ceph Manager Daemon is a relatively new component that offloads analytics, API, and management functions from the MON, so that the MON is concerned with critical cluster state only and can scale to support extremely large clusters. But all this storage power is useless without a way for users to talk to it. Three existing interface layers make it easier for end users and client applications to interface with Ceph. These are Rados Gateway, Rados Block Device, and Ceph FS. The Rados Gateway is the object storage interface, performing just like Amazon's S3 or OpenStack Swift, or both. This interface supports massive horizontal scaling, ACL-based authentication, and can federate multiple clusters across different data centers and geographies. RBD, the Rados Block Device, is a thinly provisioned block device, think a disk, that is spread across many physical media that allows users to mount a device for storage similar to how you use a physical hard disk. This approach allows you to parallelize and distribute workload for a great combination of speed, reliability, and durability. The strength of RBD is in its ability to snapshot your data and, similar to RGW, replicate your data to other data centers and geographies. CephFS, the POSIX compliant distributed file system, allows users to interact with the Ceph object store in a familiar way using hierarchical files and directories. The ability to mount this file system is already included in the Linux kernel, enabling many legacy applications to work with Ceph immediately. When using CephFS, the cluster needs an additional component, the metadata server, which handles all metadata operations for the Ceph file system. Underneath all of these interface layers, Ceph uses a programming library called Librados that enables the interfaces to talk to the cluster. Of course, you can also use this library to build custom interfaces of your own. Building a direct application interface has many advantages and can be done in most popular programming languages, including C, C++, Java, PHP, Python, Ruby, Rust, and Go. As amazing as all of this is, the true magic happens in Crush, or controlled replication under scalable hashing. This is the algorithm that governs data placement and data movement within the Ceph cluster. This is what allows you to build rules about how your data is placed across OSDs, hosts, racks, rows, or any other hardware failure domain. Crush is a pseudo-random placement algorithm that allows for a fast calculation to place and look up data with no lookup. This algorithmic approach lends Ceph several advantages. One, it ensures even distribution of data in the cluster. Two, it is repeatable and deterministic. Three, it is flexible with rule-based configuration to meet your needs. With Crush, Ceph ensures that copies of your data are spread logically across hardware and failure domains for the most performant and robust distribution possible. So no matter whether you need object storage, a block device, a distributed file system, or a custom solution for your app, Ceph is the answer. Many organizations are making long-term strategic bets on Ceph from telcos to private clouds and everything in between. Join the future of storage today at Ceph.com.